Today I want to talk about stoves. Tricoba Steve with you here. If you're going on an overland journey, you're going to be stealth camping at, camping at night or in campgrounds or whatever. Do you want to take a stove with you? Boy, that's a, that's totally 100% personal preference. <laughs> All I can tell you on that, you know, that's not like uh, um, whether you should pull a trailer. Uh, for me, that's pretty cut and dry, this trailer thing. But for stoves, I've never taken a stove with me on a, any of my trike trips. I just eat, I eat dry. Um, st they're making stoves now that are smaller and compact. And so, uh, you know, that's kind of nice. They're making these things called jet boil. I've seen those on YouTube. And stoves are getting more and more efficient. They're getting lighter and lighter, but they still take up space. And when you cook food and you're stealth camping up in the woods or in a mountain someplace, boy, oh boy, those, those bears love the smell of that, you know? So that's one thing to keep in mind too. You're gonna be attracting all kinds of animals uh, to you uh, with a stove. With a stove, you usually gotta clean something up and are you taking soap with you? You know, I mean, it's, it's how much is a hot meal worth to you? For me, um, I'm pretty utilitarian and I enjoy my trike trips and when I'm on them, I don't feel like I, for me, I don't need all the luxuries of, you know, hot food. Sure. Is it nice? Yeah, that's nice. But I, uh, I would rather use uh, space in my panniers and bags for other items that might be more essential, um, more clothing items, rain items. The food I bring, I'm a, you know, I'm a health nut, as you know, don't need any animal products, so I bring weird stuff that uh, most people <laughs> say, oh man, that's too weird, but I bring, uh, you know, granola, um, protein puff bars that are loaded with uh, <clears throat> vital nutrients. On my granola, I bring uh, powdered soy milk, so I get some protein, mix that in. I bring uh, whole hemp seeds, chia seeds, I mix all that in with my cereal. And you know, I, I bring, uh, I used to bring Cliff Bars, I don't do that anymore, they're kind of sugary and they're not the healthiest uh, compared to the stuff I <clears throat> bring now. You know, Bobo Bars, uh, Protein Bucks, uh, Granolas, there's, there's a number of things that, that keep me very happy and I don't need a stove. But that's just my opinion. I mean, there's, I think uh, I'm in a minority probably. Um, I think a lot of uh, trike travelers like their stoves. And of course, you're gonna use up water when you're uh, cooking with them, I would imagine. Um, if you have those mountain house type things that are dehydrated and you have to boil water, then add it. You know, what are you gonna do with that water? Well, that water, I guess, soaks up into the food, theoretically. But um, then the cleanup, you always have the cleanup. And if you have a dehydrated bag, what do you do with that? If you're stealth camping in the middle of nowhere, there's no trash cans, you have to pack it with you till the next time you find a trash can. And so what do you do with it till then? Well, you gotta have it with you either on the trike or in your hand or someplace and that's going to attract animals. I carry my food uh, supplies in these uh, op sacks, O-P-S-A-K, I've talked about them before, but I'll you know, try to remember to put a picture. But they're special, they look kind of like Ziplocs. You can get varied, varied sizes, and you put your food supplies in there, and they're, they're odor-proof. Animals can't smell anything that's inside the op sack. So it's not just like a, uh, a Ziploc baggie or anything like that. It, it kind of looks that way, but it's heavier duty and it doesn't let the smell out. So, um, you know, yeah, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the, with the stove, the cleanup. Have, um, but that's just me. You know, that's just me. So, you know, leave your comments down below and, uh, and uh, say how you do it. And what kind of stove? Leave a, leave a link to a stove or something. Some of these new stoves that uh, I've seen, uh, people have shared with me, they're pretty compact. They, they get pretty little, so size isn't really an issue, you know. But 
When I get done at the end of a day of riding on a, on a long tour, basically I'm pretty tired and uh, the last thing I want to, for me, the last thing I want to do is sit there and try to cook something. You know, get the stove out, start fired, put some water in it, stir it up, clean it up afterwards. I just don't want to deal, deal with it. You know, I just open things and eat primitively, you know. <laughs> That's fine with me because basically uh, if you've been pedaling all day, for me, I just want to, I just want to um, pull off someplace, you know, in the woods or wherever, behind some creosote bushes if I'm in the desert, pitch a tent, get that tent pinch, pitched first, and, uh, and then eat something, and then hit the sack. Because I have found that it's tiring if you go on a long trip. Um, so, you know, and again, uh, like I said once before with, um, with the trailer, if you're going on an overnighter or a three-dayer in the region, somewhere around where you live, and you're coming back to the same place, and you can carry enough supplies with you, and you know it's not going to be that big of a deal, um, bring a stove on that. Sure. You know? It's not that much of a hassle. Just ride for uh, you know, three or four hours during the day and give yourself plenty of time to cook and clean up. Uh, that's my opinion. And whatever you do, whether you bring a stove or not, take it easy and take a try. See ya.